what he wants us to become, how he wants us, you know, to achieve it. I was able to show us yesterday, and I said, what are these provisions for divine guidance? He, gui he gave us provisions to on how we can, you know, guide ourselves to fulfill our purpose here on earth. And I show us about three or four points from it. And this morning, again, I'll be showing us another point on the fulfilling our purpose and not to allow the demonic uh, strategies to rob us of our destiny. I'll be showing you the part two this morning. And the part two is a little bit deep. And um, I would like us to concentrate because so many of us, are uh, uh, so many, don't let me say us, so many, or will I say, some people outside there fell into this trap. And today we are having problem, you know, and it makes us to be going from one place to the other to keep praying over, you know, issues. I want us to concentrate this morning and the Lord will bless us as to do so in Jesus' name. So I would like us to go straight to what we have because of our time. In this teaching series, I shall be, uh, we shall be looking at the wrong choices that the devil lure people into to make them lose out of God's giving destiny, you know. And I said we should uh, please avoid this pitfall so as we, as we study on all these points this morning. And our scriptural uh, passage for this service will be from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2. Ephesians 6 verse 2. Let's read together by standing to honor God's word. Let's rise to our feet and let's please have it on the screen. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2. Media, can we have it on the screen? Thank you. God bless you. Shall we read after the count of three? One, two, three, and let's go. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. Let's read this one more time. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. God bless you. Father, we pray that you bless the reading of your word this morning. Grant unto us understanding. The Bible says, for the entrance of your word, give a life and understanding. We ask for understanding this morning. We ask, O oh God, for the light of your word to come to us this morning in the name of Jesus. After this service, our life shall not remain the same in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. This morning, from where we are taking our topic, I mean, our part, our discussion from, you remember I told us last week that demonic strategy to rob us of our destiny, you know, is in so many ways. And um, I told us that we are given choices. We have the ability to pick whatsoever we want. And I defined what destiny is all about last week to us. I said, that to which any person or thing is destined, a predestined state. A condition predestined by the divine or by human will. That is what is called destiny. And I told us we have the power of choice to, to pick either to fulfill God's purpose or not to fulfill God's purpose. I said God gave us the privilege to make our choice. And I showed us that our choice in picking it, God has already destined us that we are to make it. We are to be great. We are to uh, have a better ending in life. You know, to have a, uh, uh, I mean, to be rich, to be wealthy, to, to go forward. That is the plan of God. And I show us that I say every perfect and good gift is from above and come down from the Father of life. I told us, I said, the thought of God towards us is for good and not for evil. He loved us. But do you know we can, use, we can make a choice that can distort us from going towards the, the plan of God for our life? We can be the one to stop God, you know, from fulfilling his purpose in our life. And I show us some of the choices we are, some of us used to make at times and they, that make us not to fulfill God's purpose. And we answer a question last week. We said, uh, uh, why is it that some people are suffering? They suffer, some, some suffer till they die and some are still suffering up to now. Some are unable to have fulfill their purpose even up to now. And I show us some of the reason. I showed us the provisions of God for us last week. That he promised and he make a way of escape so that the enemy will not rob us by studying the word, you know. And also, I picked a lot of points for us last week. And this morning, I want, to I want to show us another thing that the devil can lure us, you know, into by not making us to fulfill God's purpose and destiny. 
And the first place I want to, I mean, the second point this morning will be from that Ephesians 6 verse 2 that says we should honor our father and our mother. Now, let's go deeper. What actually does it mean to honor our father and mother? See what the Amplified Bible says. Honor, bracket, esteem, and value <clears throat> as precious. Your father and mother, this is the first commandment with a promise. The Amplified Version so shows that it is a command with a promise that we treat our biological parents as very precious. Precious things are things that are so valuable to behold. Things that we don't treat like trash and things that we can even spend all we have to protect. And this is how we are instructed to handle our parents. We should honor them with our presence and with our substance. When I was <clears throat> preparing for this morning service, something crossed my heart that says, honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise. A promise he put is that for you to have what? Long life. A promise of if you can honor them, you will live long. But if you don't honor them, you, you, your life will be cut short. I begin to wonder, okay, is that the reason why so many die when they are small? When they are still younger? Is that what God is trying to say? We should honor him. And you know, Papa, this, he, he, he explained something during uh, last month when we were about to round up the last month teaching. He told us about some things about this particular topic. And when I, me, I was preparing, I began to think about it. Okay, some people will just be going and something will happen. They say, ah, he lost his life. She lost her life. On the process of maybe something happened and like that, she just, they, 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 they were nowhere to be found any longer. And their parents will still be alive. He said we should honor them. Honor means we should place them, you know, on a, uh, um, we should value them, you know, as a precious gift to us. I believe so many of us who have issues with our parents will be ring, some things will be ringing in our heart. Somebody that wants to kill me, somebody that wants to use my destiny, somebody that, that, that doesn't care about me. But with a promise we have read from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 2, shows us that if we must be able to live long, we must honor them. So how do we go about it? How do we handle this issue? How do we follow the scripture? How do we make the purpose of God for our life to come to pass if we don't follow this word? Because in your Tobasha Akbelaye, those are my fulfill purpose of God. Okay, when you shorten your life by not honoring them, how will you fulfill God's destiny? And I told you from the beginning of this message, I said that the plan of God for our life is for us to be wealthy, is for us to live long, is for us to prosper. And if we have prosperity and we don't have long life, what is the essence of it? Now, let's look at it. What are the promises attached to following this God's command? In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 3, what are the promises attached? In following God's command, I will read Ephesians 6 3 says that, <coughs> sorry, that it may be well with thee and thou may live long on earth. Can you imagine? It may be well with you. You have prosperity. You don't have health. You have prosperity. You don't have, they said your head is paining you today. Tomorrow they say it's the stomach. So next tomorrow they say it's the chest. He says, so that it may be well with thee. And number two, and that thou may live long on the earth. The promise is clearly stated here. Number one, longevity. And number two, prosperity. Why so many are still struggling today? You know, not seeing the promises of God. You know, so many of us, even in our dreams, we've seen ourselves becoming rich. But physically, what is the cause of it? Let's treat this topic this morning. Especially this scriptural passage. That it may be well with thee. And thou may live long. Longevity and prosperity. Longevity and prosperity. Why are you putting your hands in business and things are not working? Why is it difficult for you to prosper? Why is it that you are having problem with your health? 
If we look very clearly on this scriptural passage, it needs to do about what we have not been doing right. The choices we make, we make, you know, apart from, you know, our normal life, consigning our parents, the one who brought us forth to the heart. But with the promise that is being attached to this, if we don't follow it, we'll have problem with our lives. Let's answer another question. Are there Bible examples of people who took care of their parents that also enjoy the blessing attached to it? I will say yes. And the first person I will be showing us this morning is David. David, in the book of 1 Samuel 22, verse 3 to 4. 1 Samuel 22, verse 3 to 4. He said, later, David went to Mizpah in Moab, where he asked the king, please allow my father and mother to live here with you. Until I know what God is going to do for me. And verse 4 says, So David's parents stayed in Moab with the king during the entire time. David was living in his stronghold. David was so used to taking care of his parents to the point that when he had problem with his boss and his works was attacked, he made provision for them. Somebody will ask, have you ever seen such in the Bible? Yes, we can see. In the Old Testament, David was the last born. Yes, he was the last born. Actually, the Bible says he's the one taking care of their this and that and that, being the last born. But when he had problem with his job, somebody will say, because I lost my job, I could not, I don't think it's easy for me as I'm giving them. That's the reason why I'm having problem. So you decided to drop it. And you say, I'm not, I can't be doing it again. It's not easy for me. In fact, the, my mother, my mother loved my, my senior brother more than me. And that's the reason why she's a witch. No, no, no. He, the way my mother used to antagonize me, I have seen a child in front of me one day. She said to us, me and my husband, we, we are, you know, the, the mother came and was explaining, this girl, she's like this, she's like that, she's doing this, help me pray for her. Do you know that the lady came and said, my mother is the one doing me. The mother is pleading that we should help her to come back to the house. She is saying it's the mother that is doing her. The Papa, mama, I cannot go back to her. I have tried severally to kill my mother, but she refused to die. I have given her poison. They rat poison before. My mother ate it and she's still standing. I said, Why? Why do you hate her so much? Is any time my father is rebuking me, my mother is always in support. She's the one that used to stir it up. So my father doesn't, doesn't believe in anything I'm saying. I say, is that the reason why you hate her so much? He said, and some mother, any time I'm going out, some people will come to me and they will tell me, yeah, your mommy, your mommy. And that's the reason why she decided to develop a hatred towards her. And she's the first child. He got to a stage. The mother did everything she knows that she, you know, one run, one run of school. Wants she everything, oh my God, school, just because she just wants to live a, a nonsense like out of annoyance. In our present, the mother said, Come, Kuku, show for, come, Kuku, show for, come, fish, menstruation, Danu, Koto, Koto, Dayegon, Shekoba, better. Instead of talking, Bojo, and Jekakari, Koti, and Mabati, Elo, Obati, Elo, at the end of the day. I'm talking to you live and direct. Somebody will see that she really loves you. And she will be able And kill me, me, hello. And when you boy, look what I look. They used that and came and dropped her in the house for her meme. And the woman gave her to just two. She and the younger brother. So she came in the night. They dropped her in the night. Before the morning, she gave up. I will not know not to what I lost him. And when they told me, I said, the mother out of hunger, she can't bear the pain any longer. She have to open her mouth and say, kum, kuku fea, kum, show for me. Kum, kuku malo, kum, kui do si, kuro. Kum, look, mada, shele. So she had just one with her. I'm talking to her this morning. The Bible says for you to live long. For the enemy not to be able to take hold of you. Honor your father and your mother. Not only your mother. Not only your father. But the two of them if they are still alive. When it happened, I could not sleep. I was asking my husband, in what way has this woman offended this lady? She could hear not. I've been a mother, at least. I went through pregnancy for three times. Will I say four? He come back there. 
But the three, I know what I went through. During the third one, I was on, on anti hypertensive drugs throughout. Are you talking to me that giving birth to a child is so easy? No, even from the beginning. My first month to the fourth month, I will be vomiting. Any food that crosses my path is in trouble. Because if, as I'm putting it, that's the hour I will be vomiting it. Is that not enough? On the day of delivery, is it not enough for me to go? The first one was, it took me on a waist because I didn't prepare for it. The second one took me on a waist because I didn't prepare. But the third one I prepared for, I can say maybe lead to, share the second one, yeah? I went through hell. Not to bring the baby out is the problem, but after giving birth to the baby, I begin to have series of sickness. To even take it, I will be praying, God, please, again, share your mommy. Lord, help me. Give me strength. I will walk from here to that place. I will be so tired. Are you not telling me somebody will not cook up a story? Yes, we have mother. I will show you some mothers too that do the same. Father that do the same. But the point now is, first think about the day of pregnancy. For the nine months. And the day of delivery. If you don't remember any other day, remember these two, I mean, will I say this uh, scenario, the two pro, 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 uh, progress that they made for you. If not, who are you to come, to come to the heart? I want you to begin to have a rethink. The reason why the destiny of so many has still chattered, has not been able to produce anything, is because of this. She lost her life. I don't think she's up to 25 then. Once you continue, my mind will be I won't be. Her life will be cut short because she disgraced the woman not once, not twice in my presence. And if you are such a child here this morning, I'm pleading to you for you to have a long life. Please restrain from all those steps you are taking. It's dangerous to your destiny. Longevity and prosperity is the promise. The Bible said, David said, Sir, please help me. I am the last. I was not looking for Eliab and all those who are part of the war people that went to, to, to kill Goliath. Where are they? Why is it that it was David the last one that took the father and the mother for a, a place of, you know, to secure them? Help me to keep my father and my mother. Help me to take care of them until when I know what God wants to do with my life. How many of us can put our hand in our chest and say, please help me to take it. No matter King Kokonto Wenu me, Kokon Budo Wenu. Tio Bati and for any other reason. Ojo Ilonu at Ojo Ibimo. And so many of us, they send us to school. Not ordinary school of secondary school. You know, some of us say that should public school, ni more primary and secondary. What of the university? Is it so easy like that? It's not. It's not. If you don't even think about any other, no, some of us have our first and second degree, and these are the parents who pay for it. They were not evil when they were putting more effort on you. But now that you have become your own self, come back, refrain from that journey. I will show you a way out because some of us. We believe so much in so many prophets outside there. They've taught us so many things. And that's the reason why we decided to do some things. We change our mind towards them. I will show you the way out this morning. I pray the Lord will help us to follow the instructions in Jesus' name. The Bible said David was so used to taking care of his parents to the point that when he had problems with his boss and his work was affected, he made provision for them. I strongly believe that one of the reasons King Saul was not able to kill David is because the blessing on law of long life he provoked from his practice of care for his spirit defended him. And in the book of 1 Chronicle 29 28, 1 Chronicle 29 28, see how David's life ended. And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, honor, and Solomon, his son, reigned in his stead. He enjoyed long life in prosperity. And that's how it's supposed to be for every child of God. I got married to a man, the first son, in a family. 
The more that cherished the, uh, my husband so much. I love using myself as an example. And I will use some other people because some people say, so, uh, I want, I will say, so, have you tested it on yourself before? Moti don wo, mo deri bo sheri. When we are talking about this woman of blessed memory, she's tough. Can you see that she is laughing? He has been with her for years. He knows the person I'm talking about. You don't just walk past her. Who are you? Who bag be no sorry, wag be kaleni. Eh? Hey, 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 hey. But I was able to relate with her. Not so easy like that. But you see this nature of being quiet that I had put on was right from when I, was, I got married. I decided I do as if I don't see and I don't talk. You know so many of us who say, ah, you're coming to a tag so you will even be discouraging your husband from taking care of his own mother. To wa fe to ba ti pa ko to dai ko to fe nko she wa abalaye ni. You know, I want us to have a routine this morning. The reason why we have some issues, we don't have progress. Things are difficult for us to attain is because of some parts we decided the choices we decided to to, to 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 make and that is what is putting us into trouble. And don't forget there are seed and harvest time. If you, don't, if you don't repeat now, you will repeat later. Have it at the back of your mind. And I got married. From the beginning, God, she said, we are, you people are too small. Why do you want to get married? What is it? I did not talk. I will still come and greet and go enter. When you finish your issue, let me know. I don't have issues with her. I don't talk. I don't even talk back. I will greet her. Do whatsoever I'm supposed to do. And we kept going like that. Without knowing that after the marriage, the day that she joined in Gongo, I will still return to her house. You know the marriage, you say, It was from the reception, they told us you are not going anywhere because the house they prepared is not ready. Your husband put his mouth in what he's supposed not to put. So, me as a best man, I'm not giving you people the house any longer. Best man, by Yarini, you on the my, my husband said, we are not going to that place again. I said, I won't have one. I said, he said, let's go back to mommy's place. I said, ha. He said, eh. Hey. So I have no choice. And uh, I followed him. We were together there. It was eh, to the extent that I was sick. I was inside. You know, so many of us, we get offended over things that are not reasonable. For more than two weeks. I was inside. My mother-in-law did not lock the door. This is the house. This is my husband's room here. He did, she did not knock for once to ask, how are you? Yeah, Missy. How far? Are you okay? And I was inside the house, dying. I was not hungry because she, that is a style right from the beginning. It was my father-in-law that came from Mosfala to come and ask her and challenge her. This girl has been inside the house for two weeks. You didn't even bother to ask. He said, eh, share why are they in hurry to get pregnant? That was what get her hungry. How old are they? They're supposed to still enjoy themselves. Why did she want to get married? I mean, get baby at what? How many months? So I understand why she was hungry from that statement. <sighs> so, I mean, you have to take care of it. You have to take care of it. You I quickly stood up. My, my father in law said, Are you okay? I said, I'm okay, sir. Only she be watching my money by Shawai and I'm eating. And I pretend as if nothing is wrong again. And I move on with my life. The father, my father in law said to the issue, we, you know, with her, they didn't call me because I did not report. I didn't say anything. And that was how the whole thing. After three months, the bailiff came. They threw out the blood house. We were there too. As it was coming out, maybe God won't know that I need his mercy. If the baby should come at that time, the baby will suffer. And so he learned. As we were throwing the loader, as I saw them from outside, I was so afraid. And that was how the pregnancy came down. I never knew. So I didn't know whether it's pregnancy. I just noticed I was seeing something. I said, 
So as they were throwing the load out, it was coming down. And that was how God helped me escape from being put to shame. The baby will have been so skinny. Ah, <laughs> yeah, girl. Because we went through some part of, assuming the baby was there, it will have been from fry fan to fire. Now, here come what I want to tell you now. So we left. Everybody separated. She came one day and I make a demand. From today, pastor, you know you are the first son. And for first, you will be cooking for me still. Obey. Tony Aaron, you know, every week. Chawa to get one sheet. One day, Richard, she sit out. I say, she will be content. I'm managing, you know, while I call Adeniji. Chore Adeniji is a convenient place for me. I shall quit, Russie, be con. They gave us a place at the backyard. We were trying to erect the place. So the money they gave us, some people came around and said, okay, pastor, can you get a room, this and that. One, one woman, uh, uh, mommy, Olu Piton came around. She gave us. So the, my husband said, before, we've seen a place to stay. And they've given us this place. Instead of us to go to the hospital or to rent a place, I mean, to rent a, an apartment, what do you think we should do? I said, let's, let's give it to go. Use it to erect this place. Let there be roof here that people can stay. And when Wabata called you, they will scatter. We never knew that my mother-in-law has been planning. One shot from low. So here comes, we, you must start cooking soup. So I will be the one to remind my husband. At the world, said to two. Imagine, go do be Give me money, let me go and cook the soup. And I will cook. I would. Do you not know the worst thing? I'm saying this because I did not show anything. Eh? That the negative that will come and say, I will come and reap what I did not show. I started cooking. In my present one day, that was what got my husband hungry. If I know, I won't. And that was the last day I decided to report her. I got there, I put the food down, the stew down. Okun okula. My mother in law put spoon. I was checking it. I was laughing. I said, Mommy, uh, that's the little change that I just decided I should get you. I know you will. I about our manager. She said, Eh, Yara Shida. She's a very nice woman. Give her. Yara Shida. Eh, what? Eh, what? Eh, what? Eh, what? Eh, what? Eh, what? Mommy, like what What's about me, Bobewa? So my mother-in-law checked it and said she poured this one for her. Hello, finger gel. One poured the second one. Hello, finger gel. I don't know why you're coming around. What did gel be? You look dummy. I was there, you can't tell fellow gently. What did I supposed to do? I supposed to be hungry to go back home and tell my husband. He would nonsense. He wouldn't even perform for me. What is the meaning of this? But as I got home, my husband saw it on my face. He said, what happened? I said, ah, mommy, it's a queen, but Bobby. Ah, could see, go on, Lord, don't want more. A jagger mura, pama, to see me before, because I talk about you. Eh? Obey, what? Do you know what we are doing? There is no. I say, man of God, just to your law, my name is more affair, just swell. Sur, my husband took the call, phone. Hello, hello, Auntie Clunia. I say, ha, man of God, oh, Bob, me more. From my mouth, you want to cause problem for me? And that was how I stopped it. I never uh, complained to him again. Anything open and shell bell, one quick And I was enduring it. How many will I count? Is it the one that we moved to a new apartment? She came up. One of the summers stay with us. My husband said, No, I shall share really for the very first time. We, nobody must stay with us. At least for a female, at your woman, three months, can you be? She said, No. What do you mean? This and, and we are having VG that day. That was the first night we had to sleep in that place. But it's, it was uh, this, uh, Kila Feshe, Easter, good, uh, anytime, you know, not night, it's a That was the VG she came for. As I was still coming, I did not know they were discussing. So I came and said, Mommy, I saw some of your things oh, as we were moving in. This and the Kineko. Me, I never knew there was misunderstanding between them. That's why I put it down. She used her leg and kick everything on the altar. 
I was so embarrassed. He said, oh, she but what's it what is the meaning of this? I said, I'm sorry, ma. So I look at my husband and I noticed that he too was hungry. I quickly packed everything. I was now wondering what happened. What happened? It was after the VG. Now said she said we should reserve a room. She be his four bedroom flat. Reserve a room for, for your brother. He will stay. I said, ha. Hey, F1. He said, F1 one I said, F1, me of Allah. We gave the boy that room. So many things came up. But I was able to be quiet. I never speak against her for once. To my husband, Emma Shen Kombai Fu Rarao. Tori pe mi gon fe query. And being the last born from my own mom, my mother was still alive. Oh. She will come and say, How far? How is I say, I'm fine. I never share anything about her to my mother because I know my mother fire to fire me. She doesn't joke with her children. But one, he can't show you one. I gave birth to my first child. I lost a lot of blood. I came out with 17%. My PCV was 17%. So my mother said, no, she, she would take care of me. They should discharge me. So doctor was seated on the day of naming. She was there, all of them. So after the naming, my mother-in-law said she wants to eat pepper soup. She wants pepper soup. Ah, and her daughter is, uh, is at Moscow. If you know that road, down, is a very, how will I call it, slippery area. And if you are to come up, you will climb it as if you are climbing hills. And to pass in more street at energy, if you are climbing up, you know that it's not an easy place to climb. So she requested for pepper soup. What you want? So, 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 my, my brother-in-law, that's the husband to, the, to my sister-in-law, said, who asked you to come? You that we are managing. Why do you come? Who, we had, I said, don't worry. I just want to exercise. As I got up, that one put me on the chair. I, my breathing was very fast. Be, be, be. The guy was doing like this. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. He was trying to put me down so that the tension, you know, blood, 17%. So after I rested for some time, he gave me, he now escorted me, he get me down the road. He, he now stayed at the hub, he was looking at me. As I was about getting to our house, my mother was already outside. So as I got there, who sent you that pepper soup? One first she pepper soup, me. she quickly called me to climb. I said, please, if you don't want me to die, Please don't say anything. Don't fight with her. Please don't tempt my husband. Please don't say anything. My mother was so it was for me. My mother-in-law said, ah, pepper soup, all my she pepper soup. You know, they packaged me till my husband came. So I was waiting whether my mother would say anything. She did not say anything. My mother-in-law carried her load and left our house and said she wants to go and see, see, see some people in her place. She left. I never knew. That that is the only child my mother will help me to nurse. She died three months after Enola was born. It was my mother-in-law that took care of me during knowing. Azumi, we have allowed them to fight. Tani Obaduro Timi, Kogmo. Ye Koju Arawo Sirawo Yawo. He won't no. On There is a prayer they normally pray that may my children not marry my enemy. May my children not marry their own enemy. Don't be anybody's enemy. You may need your mother, your father-in-law, your anybody. Don't put them against themselves. So that you have long life. I could remember when I gave her to Oni, it was 17%. My mother-in-law said, like, yeah, my phone, let like, yeah, I cannot, I cannot. Our mother is not alive for a I said, I open my eyes. I saw her. I said, mommy, mommy, why? He said, so that you will live. I don't want to lose you. David lived long. I 
And he died in good old age, full of days. He enjoyed long life in prosperity. He was long He was long long Kiri. They are telling you your mother is bad, your father is bad. Somebody will say to Bawari Belo, Tonko. Let's see number two. Genesis chapter 9, verse 22 to 27. Genesis 22, I mean 9, 22, chapter 9, verse 22 to 27. And Am, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Jephthah Jeff, Jeff, took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders. They saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah away from his wife and knew what his son, younger son has done unto him. And he said, Cause be Cana, a servant of, of servants, shall he be upon, unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem and Cana, shall be his, I mean, he said, Blessed be the God of Cana and shall be his servant. Okay, he said, Ken, uh, Shem shall be their, their, I mean, their servant. And God shall enlarge Jeph, 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 Jephthah, and he shall dwell in the tent of Shem, and Cana shall be his servant. Now, I want to quickly read this now. Beloved, this scriptural passage is a deep eye-opener. It reveals to us that the outcome of the life of the three sons of Noah, Ham, the father of Cana, Cain, uh, mocked his father's nakedness, and he was cursed with the curse of his servant. But Shem and Jephthah honored their father when they covered his nakedness, and they were blessed with the blessing of alignment. This one, David, took care of his own parents. But what of this, the second part? He was the one who exposed his own father and said, And he, was, he, he shamed the father, and the father cursed him and said, Servant of servants, you will be. He got one trace here. Nigeria. And don't get you from one trace the knowledge one was in Nigeria. We are the largest. Are we not the servant? May we not become servants in Jesus' name. And somebody will now say, I was told that my mother is a witch. My father is into court and they, were, they are the one affecting my life. Can it be true? I answer yes. Sometimes. Because Elohim, sometimes they didn't tell them what the outcome of it will be. Elohim, they see, you are not lying. It was when I, I got to some stage in my life. I noticed that all the things on my phone He's on prayer. My husband asked me yesterday, Kilo, they want food. What if you want a lot more share? And he told me, I'm not going to get a lot of share. I'm not going to get a lot of share. As you can see, I'm labor, not only in words, because I'm here at Hawaii, or on the counter, because I'm not going to get a lot of share. I'm not going to get a lot of So, everything, we want to hear song on my Play Store. What is the meaning of that? Say prayer and you come more. Me like what I mean, but I'm going to introduce you. They don't know the outcome. They actually want to protect their children. They never knew they would ask the man for their 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 Yes, it can be true because we see in the Bible how Atalaya destroyed both our own children and the grandchildren. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 11 verse 1, 2 Kings 11 verse 1, the Bible says, And when Atalaya, the mother of Az Azariah, saw that her son was, died, was dead, she arose and destroyed all the royal seed. Yes, we have mothers like that. They never knew it would turn out to be like that. But if it comes to that point, what can we do? Because I have seen several. Some people will come up and say, Ah, what if you have me? What if you have me? What if you One of our daughters called me. See, I'm passionate about every child eh, that's been born in God's prior evangelical mission. And especially any child we dedicate here. I told my husband, I'm passionate about them. Do you know the reason? That is our own God's prior evangelical mission. All the adults will go. America, Canada, Tobago, Sidi, Uri, Pepe, Oma, Wapepe, 
That is the reason why you mothers have to be very careful. My mother in the law was sharing one with us. Say, Do you know that we have about 40 of those children? Half the time will be one about one in one of one, not in Nemoa, not in dedicated one, one trace, a pepper in a padawa. We are going to share that a gap, Mada Sibe. So be careful the way you handle children. So I'm being passionate about children. One of our daughters just walked in one day. Mrs. Christopher can be a me witness. She came here and said, The father and mother are no more with us. But she came and said, Mama, I'm looking for either you or, ma or Papa. He said, But uh, thank God you are the one. I said, Sit. And I was discussing with her. I said, Mommy Christopher, please, can you excuse me? So she stayed very close to us. And I said, Can you tell me what happened? Say, Me and my friend, we went on it. So, so, so please. And somebody looked at me and said, Ah, did your mommy not tell you what she, she, she did? They have put you into trouble. So I was looking at her. Oh, my town, so I put you into trouble. It's not up to 20. I said, Which trouble? Inside my heart, I said, Oluwa, but we don't form any short any. Ah, mama, by we don't record Jesus. She never, but she she didn't sound on him. What he for coming bad? You know, ah, at what age? What he mock me? He run prophet. He did chef one. He you obi. He show a rani. Especially you mothers. He go to bad mock me. Oh, my God, that backfire. My feet bare. My bare. Lo do I want more? Because one my to bad long one inch. Children will go my. Me, miles. So she sat down. I was not looking at her. I said, What's up? Call up the long mommy. Open to one day. Money open to one day. Only the appendix that he operated her from. I said, ah, Appendix can happen to anyone. So I sat that down. And I begin to teach. I said, In God's mind, Vajalika, I'm sure he'll call you. Gongo. Hey, we should not have any written, any spoken word that is not in the written word. It's, it's not true. He said, yes, mama, yes. Papa used to quote it right from when we were small. I said, so where do you see it? I think we can one him on me. She also money we all look wow. Money so from prophet in your book, the mother in the Lord, and to dedicate yes, so we all look wow. Nico Funa was facing me because she later came back. He said, prophet in your book, we can't lose from me. We can't come on to the way in got only wrong. Any more suffering, but she ain't dally runi. And so many of you believe them because I challenge the lady. And Mama Kekereni, she went back and tell the prophet, Do you know that the person this prophet is talking about was the first child of your father? It was when he was small, he got, he got uh, a lady pregnant, and I explained the whole scenario to her. She now said, Ha! Ah. I said, But they've told you since two days ago, you were just looking for me this day. What happened when you got home yesterday? He said, I was just looking at my daddy and my mommy. I said, ah, I want to hear it. I said, well, the pastor looks at you, I want to hear they never meant evil for you. Do you know how your father was running up and down? When you were admitted in the hospital, I said, that father, don't, don't save life where, to the future, why not she save where? Somebody is not telling you that your mother, never you believe such. Mama, you share me. She was not here, but I was able to convince that girl. I said, forget about it. The plan of your parents for you is for good. Do you know what your mommy is going through? Just to put food on the table for you guys? Never you think about that. Remove it from your mind. Because before, I was Thank God, Obawa. Tio Baba, me enjoy yanko. Only the only they say uh, they should put, give me water to put in my daddy and mommy's water if they want to bathe. All of you see you. Oh Lord, that's in me. When only come to Boston, I quickly pour it inside their water. I said to Baba, yanko to my pawn la ranko. You will have killed them now. You will have try and see me. Tori kwe koriwa. Lo she tete lo dasi. Mothers. Be careful, fathers. Be careful. Pray. But a woman was working for us. She said, Mama, do you know she lost her first child? I said, Why? He said, They told her I'm the one behind her problem. Another one, the second one, too, is doing the same thing for her now. 
So when she came, she was begging her for money. I said, Emma beg. Hello, you talk hello, Badura. Oh, go to some other tafu here. Hello, pray against it. You went through a hell. Somebody came up and said, you are not the best mother any longer. Kilo tin she gon tell it. Talon be monitor my tani cancel it. I used to tell my children, nobody can cancel you the way I will cancel you. So confide in me. Talk to me. If you do anything wrong, I will, I will cancel you. Yes, I will scold you, but I will put you right. We have mothers who, who are already devilish. They have things in their mind. And so if they are telling you they are bad, you are, your mother is a witch. O she she ko ribe. O she she ki babe belong to cult. But what are the way out? Every child of God should build his or her own ability to hear God clearly. Because God won't give such a sensitive message through someone without giving you a proper personal confirmation. And the big question sh we should answer now is, how will I be able to carry out my biblical rule of honoring my father and mother if I eventually discover either of my parents is after me? And I wrote here, this requires a lot, a whole lot of wisdom because we are not instructed to honor only believing parents, but to honor our parents, whether believer or unbeliever. My own belief at this point is that we should allow the Holy Spirit to teach us on how to play our biblical rules, either from close or distant rage without being hurt. I have two how. How can we solve it? Number one, even if you are, we are, you are not led to visit them in person, honor them with your substance. Romans chapter 12 verse 20. Romans 12 20 says, Therefore, if their enemy hunger, feed him. If he test, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt eat coal of fire on his head. Since the Bible says it, if your enemy is hungry, do the little from the distance. Send money to them. We were asking one of our mothers in the house. When last have you seen your mommy? Mother of one of us said, my own mother, which is the grand uh, grandmother of our home brother. He said it has become about eight years I've seen my mother. You know, you know, they forget it. Only once a phone call, loan she, loan she, in boy, only came off in Cornoche. So that your days may be no money, she had one, only when she is struck, money must struggle because you never care. I was the last born. My mom was very sick before I got married. But my mother would not eat until when I entered. So the little thing my, 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 uh, my fears, or what will I call my pastor, then gave me, you know, as we are going home, my pack here. I will sick. My husband to, to be will sit with my mom. He noticed that my mom was very sick. She you know so many of you, you believe that. Because you are going to be sick. You are going My husband. Do you know how to all this? My mom came back. She became okay. Because she saw love coming from the man. And I was the first one to raise the issue among six. I mean, the first person to raise the issue when we were married. So for that year, three of us got married. I got married in my, my, my senior sister got married in March. Three months after, June, I got married. My senior brother got married in September. So three months in that I was married. I was But she saw love. And whenever my mother is coming from Ijebu, she will come straight to my house. Only... Can your mother say that about you? About your husband? How do you present him? Even that you think I can lie long laughing around jealously, my she to be love from be my feed My 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 husband to be will sit beside my husband. I mean my mother. Mommy oya, mo wambi ba. Tell ba jo mi ni loli. Koti femi o. You know, so many of us we are deceived by nonsense love. So the way he loved my mom, I love his own mom like that. When the mom was about to pass on, they packaged things. I told you then. So we have to do video call. She was crying. Let me told you, Pastor. 
Only mommy, don't worry. Only one more phone one in safe hand. With confidence. If I told my big boy, what pass soon, you will come in or so ye. One will offer more. She be one one daughter. Told you already. One will be for now. They came down here. Igbein. I'm a rotty bein yo. Toma quoi ye against him, my man. Magba. She won't battle the shake who lick back with the lyric jet. At times I will sit down. If I mean you're not a yammy gum, I'm not a yaki yaw call me. Ah, can you mommy one be bye bye? My, my, my husband will burst into tears and say, Ah, it's one mommy, you're not a money. Ah, you know, you know, at times the relationship towards the hand was so tight that there are some things I can't do without telling her. I will call her, she will pray. He be told Buru sing by and one turn as a prayer towards her hand. Even if they are no good, do your own little part so that you will live long and you have prosperity. And number two, even if you are, are led not to visit them, honor them by interceding for them regularly, for God to give them encounter so that you will be able to play your biblical role in their life. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Matthew 5, 24 says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. With these two scriptural passages, we see that those who decided not to be nice to their parents because they are in one way or the other against them are in error. And such believers will be exempted from the covenant blessing that those honoring their own parents enjoy. Honor them. Value them. Respect them. Respect them. Every time my senior brother will call me, one of my brother, my senior, because I have three of them that I'm, that I'm a senior. One of them will just go and say, I will call my mommy. I will call my mommy. She will call my mommy. Because I will call my mommy. 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 But mother is my jaya who Start praying now when they are small. Come up if you want your day. You know, at times when I call for prayers for women, they don't understand. They don't believe what I'm calling them for. Igbe yini. Ijoale. To oniri bi tisi. Have you not seen? Cheti erike kereti mori. The one I saw recently. During that guest on. Makes me to believe that this thing is real. Instantly, what did you feel like in your mind? Yesi ye. Omo ti wani ye bi. Iyalon di. Some money she. Appendix, who sent to him, won't she me go? Well, young but in mobile as well, only eh, mamma, money eh. She gave me a phone to call to talk to you when you are going to into theatre. She now said, Yes, I remember. I said, eh, I've gone through it. The only that they didn't remove it would pay you and you will use drugs, but your own to ride with you. What if I open my go over cackling? She now said, Eh, money eh, oh, oh, chew a loose she now. She now said, Eh, and when they brought that thing, it was the grover that they saw inside. I said, So I want to share the bed. I will not hear Koloma Grover. This I the understanding because I have been taught. And I used to tell my children, obey us, follow what we are saying. Timba Fiobi, send Timo Gefu, and believe in me. I am praying for you now so that my life in the, in the end will not, be, will not be difficult. There's nothing I can do. I can beat you if you do anything wrong. I can query you. I can talk to you. I can be hard. At times I will drive down to the school. What is the meaning of this nonsense? I saw your post. What? She was saying nothing, mommy. I can slap. I do that. I said, but he become no come Most of me pay yani mo just here. I must mentor you well. Don't run for me. Tell me everything. I will cancel you. I will guide you. Yes, this age, every child, man, very free. But let me guide you. Let me show you the way. Let me show you who, who is the truth and the, the, and the fake one. I've been there for 21 years. I understand what it takes for a man to deceive a lady. But mothers, you know some of us are, are like if I are ego. We don't bother. In the middle of night, till this break, you will see here peace on top of my bed. She won't be saying, ah, I can be me. Oh, no, ah, this, If you go, you go back fetch that, Adura had that father, the angel of, my, of her mother would do what? Give her a backhand for hand. 
Pas à son jour, non, Guidi. Moi, je fais ça, je ne peux pas faire chier, c'est que mon angel ne peut pas vous donner. This is the confidence that we have. But you mothers, you relax. Ma relax, you see. Tete faya. Ko yo ale ko le son wa. Ka le ni isin mi. Because I want to ko eyan omo si yawo aton ko eyan omo si baba ise wa lori won ni jasason loru ko Jesu. Are you blessed this morning? Please, if you have not been nice to your mom and dad, if you still have like me omo oru kan. Ko si ya ko si baba. My father, my husband too. So I used to tell him, you are my father, you are my mother. Me too, I'm your father, I'm your mother. So do nice to me so that in the old age, when these children live to their husband and, their, and uh, the other uh, small one, so my father, I'm going to say, 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 yes, I'm going to say, 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 and thank God, he's cooperating. I told him one time he was so hungry with one of, of my, my children. I said, please, draw them closer. I told one of them, I said, cancer will name your cock off cancer. And don't cancer show you why yes, Oh, she rory. And it has been a mutual. We may we may be angry with each other yesterday night. Cut your jalalia no. Oh, yeah, he put it about him on church. Can you see? So if you have not been nice to your parents, if you have not been nice to your mother-in-law, father-in-law, please rethink, have a rethink this morning so that your days may be long, so that you have long life, so that you have prosperity. Take good care of them. In your little way, some of us will say, ah, me, ni much. You know, I see, put on your phone. Some of us say, I'm on about 20,000. You know, we get 2,000. Transfer now. But the Lord will give us understanding. The Lord will help us. We will not be robbed of our destiny. We shall fulfill purpose. Shall we our heads and begin to talk to God? If you have not been nice to your mom, you have not called them for some time, after today's service, please do. Call them. Talk to them. Encourage them. Let them pray for you. you. The only thing you need from them is their blessings. So that you have long life and prosperity. The Lord will, will expand this word to you this morning. More interpretation of it. In the name of Jesus. The enemy will not, will not, will not, will not divide us. The enemy will not succeed to turn our children against us. Mothers and fathers here. In the name of Jesus. And to every child here. The Lord will grant unto you wisdom. To, 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 to relate with your parents. Love them, cherish them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we rise on our feet?